Hey everybody, uh, this math lesson is on arithmetic sequences and series. Okay, so we don't know what that means yet, you guys. So uh, we probably know what arithmetic means. It just means arithmetic, so we're going to be adding here. So sequences we'll talk about in a second, and series also, and so they're related. So a sequence, you guys, is just a function. It's just um, uh, whose input, and they call it the domain, is consecutive integers. So, so the input, the numbers that we put in, are 1, 2, 3... Uh, those are so that that's what a sequence is, and usually it's our first term, our second term, our third term, and that's why we put in the numbers one, two, three, and so on. So the values uh, in the range are called the terms of the sequence. Okay, so it'll unwind in just a second here. So a series, you guys, is just the sum of the terms in the sequence. So for example, you guys, write the first five terms of each. Okay, so here's an arithmetic sequence. And this says a sub n. And what a sub n means is my nth term. Now, my old uh, math book used to be do t sub n, and I liked that better. In fact, I should have wrote t sub n there. But a sub n is what the new math books are doing. a sub n just means my nth term. Okay, and so here's the formula right here. 5n minus 1. So this is 5 times n minus 1. So the first term, this says right here, the first term is when we plug in 1 for n. So I plugged in 1 right there. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, so the first term is 4. Okay, the second term is we're going to plug in n equal 2 for the second term. Okay, so the second term is plug in n equal 2. This says my second term right here. Uh, the second term, plug in n equal 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. So the second term is 9. Okay, the third term. The third term is to plug in 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 1 is 14. So that's why we got 14. So the first term is 4. The second term is 9. The third term is 14. The fourth term we plug in 4. 5 times 4 minus 1. We're just plugging in n right here. So plugging in n equal 1, 2, 3, 4, and all the way up to 5. Because it said find the first five terms. So 5 times 4 is 20. 20 minus 1 is 19. And then the fifth term, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 1 is 24. So here's the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term. Okay? All right, let's try one with an exponent here, you guys. Okay, so we're going to do, so this says f of n. So this means, um, and, and don't worry about it too much, this just says f of n. Okay, f parentheses n. We're just going to plug in n equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right there. Okay, so we're going to plug in n equal 1. So 2 to the first, 2 to the first minus 1. Well, 2 to the, I'm sorry, minus 3, sorry. 2 to the first is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So the first term is negative 1. Okay, the second term we plug in n, f of 2. So f of 2 is just, we're going to plug in n equal 2 right here. 2 to the second power, 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, the third term, okay, be careful you guys, we're going to plug in f of 3, 2 to the third, 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, you guys, 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, let's try the fourth term, you try it, you guys, 2 to the fourth, what's 2 to the fourth? 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 1 more 2 is 16, so 16 minus 3 is 13. All right, try, try f of 5. f of 5, so f parentheses 5 would re be read as f of 5, is 2 to the 5th. What's 2 to the 5th? Well, it's 2 to the 4th times 2. It's 32. 32 minus 3 is 29. So our first term is 1, our, sec our negative 1, sorry, our second term is 1. Our third term is 5, our fourth term is 13, and our fifth term is 29. Okay. All right, so find the sum of the, of the five terms in section B. So here we're going to find the sum of these numbers right here. Okay, so we want to find the sum of 4, 9, 14, 19, and 24. So 4 plus 9 plus 14 plus 19 plus 24. So if we add them all up, 4 plus 9 is 13. Plus 4 is um, uh, 17, plus 9 is 26, and then plus 4 more gets me a 30. So I'm going to put a 3 down here, I'm sorry, a 0 down here, and then put the 3 up here for the 30. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7. So it should come up to be 70 right there. 
Okay, that's number one. Let's do number two. We're going to add up all of these numbers, negative one plus one. And I always put the bigger number on top. I, I'm just more comfortable. So you notice I put 24 and then 19 and 14. So I put the bigger numbers on top. Okay, these guys cancel each other out. But one plus one is zero, plus five is five, six, seven, eight. And then eight plus nine is uh, 17. So we'll carry the one. One plus two is three, four. So we should get 47 on that. Okay, all right, so um, so that would be the series. We'd add those up. The series is, um, so the sequence, you guys, is these numbers right here, 4, 9, 14, 19, and 24. The series is the sum of the sequence numbers. Okay, so we add them up, and that would be the series of those. Okay, all right, uh, so you're stocking a grocery store. Your boss tells you to start with 20 cans on the bottom row, okay, and then 18 cans on the next row, and then 16 cans on the next row. So can you see there's going to be 20, and then on top of that there's going to be 18, and on top of that there's going to be 16, and on top of that it says and so on. So it looks like it's going minus 2, so there'd be 14, and then 12, and so on. So. Uh, she wants four cans on the top row, so you're going to stop when you get the four cans. So how many cans are going to be on the fifth stack or on the fifth row? Sorry, that should say fifth row. Okay, uh, how many rows will there be total? And finally, how many total cans will there be? Okay, well, how many cans are going to be on the fifth stack? Okay, remember, they're going down by two. So 20, and then 18 on the next one, then 16 on the next one, then 14 on the next one. So here's the first row, the second row, the third row, the fourth row. Here's the fifth row. There's going to be 12 cans, okay? All right, so there's the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row. And so on the fifth row right there, there's 12 cans, okay? How many rows will there be total? Okay, so how many rows? Well, we want to go up to where it has four cans uh, total. So I'm going to just continue this pattern and keep going until I get to four. And so how many rows are there going to be total? So 20, then 18, then 16, 14, 12, 10. I'm just going down by two, by two, by two. So how many rows is that? Here's the first row, second row, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So there's going to be nine rows there. Okay, so nine rows total. How many total cans are there going to be? So we're just going to add all these up. 20 plus 18 plus 16 plus 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. Okay, so we're just going to add all those up over here. So I think I did that over there. All right, so when we add all those up, and I'm just saving time on this video, we should get 108 cans all together right there, okay? All right, so that's called an arithmetic sequence because they keep decreasing by the same amount, by two all the time. Here's another one. You're selling apples. The first day you make $2. The second day you make $7. The third day you make $12. Okay, can you see um, uh, the pattern is we're just adding $5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So if this pattern continues, find each. Okay, so we're going to find how much money are we going to make on the fifth day. Okay, how much money will you make after the fifth, after five days? Because remember, you have four days and then three days and two days and the money that you made before. So how much money are you going to make on that fifth day? And then how much money are you going to make after five days? So it's not only your fifth day, but your fourth day, your third day, your second day, and your first day. And then finally, how many, how many days will it take to save $119? Okay, so how much money are we going to make on the fifth day? So all I did is I just kept adding five. So plus five, plus five plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 5 is 22. So how much are we going to make on that fifth day? We're going to make $22. All right, so how much money are we going to make after five days? Excuse me. So I'm just going to go ahead and add up 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17 plus 22, and those added up to $60. So that's how much money you're going to make after five days. How many days will it take for us to save $119? Well, this is on the fifth day, so here's the sixth day right here. We're going to go ahead and add another five dollars to that okay and take the old total sixty dollars so uh, 22 plus 5 is 27 so we're going to go ahead and add these guys so on the sixth day we're going to make 60 plus 27 or 87 dollars okay so on the seventh day well on the sixth day was 27 dollars so on the seventh day we're going to add five to that you guys so we're going to add 30 so uh, 27 plus 5 is 32 
So we're going to take that $87 and we're going to add 32 to that. Okay, so we're going to add 32 and it looks like this is going to get me my 119. 7 plus 2 is 9, carry the, oh, I'm not carrying anything, and then 8 plus 3 is 11, so we get $119 there. So uh, how many days is that going to take us? That's going to take us a total of seven days right there, okay? So that's what the arithmetic se uh, uh, series and sequences are, you guys, okay? Take care.